This video reviews how to add a simple pie chart to an Excel workbook using the Python library OpenPy Excel. Here is the workbook we'll be working with. It contains two columns of data, three rows of food, and three portions of food. My pie chart will show the amount distribution of those foods. Here, I load in the workbook as WB and I select the worksheet as WS. I will be saving the work in the cell below. To create pie charts, I need to use the pie charts and reference objects contained in the chart module of OpenPy Excel. So I will import them both right now. The pie chart object is fairly self explanatory, it's what contains the chart. The reference object, on the other hand, needs some explanation. Each chart in Excel references a series of data, and the way OpenPy Excel captures what data exists within the chart is this reference object. So let's start by creating both our pie chart and reference variables. Making our pie chart object is easy. Simply assign the variable you want to use to the object. I'll be calling mine pie. The reference object requires some arguments and looks a little complicated at first glance. However, it's actually straightforward. In this cell, I'm going to be creating the reference object both for the data we're going to graph, as well as the columns, or I'm sorry, the categories or labels of food. First, we will focus on the data. To the reference object, the first argument we must pass is the worksheet itself. The next arguments are min call, min row, and max row. We need to supply the minimum column of the data which is the leftmost side of the data we want graph. For our case, that is just the second column of data in the worksheet, so I supplied two as the min call. Min row, as you might guess, is where the data starts, and max row is where it ends. As you can see, we supply one and four respectively. Notice that I am including the column header within the scope of our row range. That will be important later. There is also a max call argument that we can assign, but given our data comprises of only one column, we don't need to use that argument here. Now I'm going to create my labels, which are the categories of food. As you can see, this is also done with a reference object. This reference object is pointing to the literal location of where my labels are in the document, just like the previous one. We can see the labels are in rows two through four in the first column. So I pass one as my min call, two as my min row, and four as my max row. Now that I have my chart ready, I need to add the data. This is accomplished with the add data function of the chart object. The first argument for this function is the reference object of where the data is. This will populate the plotting area of the chart with the columns specified in my reference object. I next tell Python that the titles can be derived from my data. This is because the titles of my data are contained in the first row. If you look back to the reference object, you will see that I said my min row is one. That means I am supplying the first row with the rest of my data. So setting titles from data allows the code to know my first row should not be considered as part of the graphed data. Notice that right here, I am not using the other reference object that I created, the one called labels. I will be adding that with another function next. I now need to tell Excel to set the categories that I created earlier. The categories are the labels that I created with my labels variable. I am able to establish these with the set categories function on the chart object. These will now show up in my legend as the items being displayed in the pie chart. The final step is to add the chart to the workbook. This is done by using the add chart function on my worksheet object. I pass the add chart function, the chart itself, and the location I would like the chart to display. For this, I will be using C2, so we will be located right next to the data. With this, let me save the workbook and reopen the document to check out what we were able to accomplish. We can now see the chart is displaying in the correct location at C2 in our workbook. So it requires a handful of steps, but it is straightforward to implement. First, you import your objects. Next, you create your chart and reference objects, supplying the appropriate data to the reference objects. Next, you add the data and set the categories. 
Then you add the chart to the worksheet, specifying where you want it to be displayed. Thank you for stopping by and checking out this video on how to create a pie chart using OpenPy Excel. Please let me know in the comments if this was helpful. Let me know what other features of OpenPy Excel and Python you would like to see reviewed in future videos. If you found it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps other people find this content. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you know when the next video comes out.